When THQ famously disintegrated earlier this year, Volition Studios ended up being acquired by an unlikely candidate, Deep Silver. Earlier this month, they ended up showing off Saints Row 4, which ended up becoming something of a synthesis of what they're calling Saints Row 4 Classic and Enter the Dominatrix. Sometimes there's this, this uh, misconception that I've seen people ask the comments on forums and whatnot. Well, they'll go and say, oh, is, is this just an expansion pack? And the answer is no. Whatever elements we took from Dominatrix and rolled into Saints Row 4 has all been blown out and changed so much that it's not even the same thing. It's a really different experience. There's just things that we like, like superpowers that we really enjoyed. And we had all these gameplay side improvements on Saints Row 4 that we were doing. So we just wanted to merge those together and then create that experience that, uh, that, that tied it all up. And what they're showing is a game that has a new focus on locomotion, has a new focus on combat, in an effort to break up some of that minute-to-minute -minute gameplay, making traversal a lot quicker and easier, making combat encounters a lot more fluid, a lot more powerful. And while the studio was concerned that a new owner might derail their vision, they said that wasn't the case. They said that Deep Silver was a perfect partner to work with. When Deep Silver came in, they saw it and they said, well, we get it, we love it. Don't change anything, you do what you do. They just say, we want you to do what you think is best and we're gonna support you, which is so much better than someone coming in and saying, we know more than you, change everything, gonna go in here to our way of thinking, our way of doing that, and they've done none of that, and it's been so great for us. And sure enough, the game's coming out this August on current-gen platforms, and while they're adding a lot of new locomotion and a lot of new enemy types, it remains to be seen if it's gonna be a big enough change from Saints Row 3 to really attract new players.